some big hymns with you. And it, like your second film with Dean, right? Giant. Mm -hmm. You had George Stevens directing. Very short, James Dean, every time. <laughs> yeah, George <laughs> Stevens directing because he was famous for the endless, endless retakes. So I guess all of that, which you just explained, applying that mm, yeah. to that particular film. Yeah, Giant. Yeah. Because you had a director who. Uh, Shoots every corner of the room, they said. You know, no matter how small the part, whether he had one line or not, he would shoot every corner <laughs> of the room. Yeah. Where's the other corner? Whichever corner. But yeah, yeah, there was a lot of matching to be done. That was an interesting performance. It was a very restrained performance on your part in that film. In, in Giant. Yeah, that yeah. character. Yeah. Yeah, Dean, uh, Dean used to come in and watch me, and then he would, uh, uh, without me knowing it, uh, this is after I threw him in the car and I was out of cause. And uh, uh, also, also at that moment when I when I did throw him in the car, he asked me why I wanted to be an actor. And uh, uh, a lot of it comes out of like uh, a love-hate relationship uh, with your parents and wanting to prove something. And uh, uh, his was his mother died when he was very young, and uh, he used to go to her grave. And he used to cry in her grave. Why did you leave me? 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 And that turned into, I'm going to show you. I'm going to be something. I'm going to show you. I'm going to be something. I'm going to do something. I'll show you. I'll show you. And that uh, uh, that we had in common. And that that's not uh, that's not uh, uh, that's not a thing of saying. I want to impress this audience or like I feel powerful because I'm on this stage and I'm controlling these people's minds. It has nothing to do with any of that crap. <laughs> All it has to do with is, is the fact that, that uh, uh, to work in the way that, uh, that I've tried and that, that Dean did and that Brando does and that Cliff did and so on, uh, is that you're working, you're working with your subconscious. And, uh, 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 it's Stanislavski and uh, it goes to Stella Adler or uh, Sandy Meisner or Lee Strasberg. Lee Strasberg was my teacher. And uh, uh, to trick your subconscious through conscious means is like impossible. In other words, uh, my mother, my father died, okay? My, my conscious thing is saying, okay, my father died. Uh, which is a reality, okay, uh, this last year. My father died, uh, yeah, my father died, but it doesn't have any emotional thing. I mean, to have an emotional thing, I have to, like, you know, I have to, I have to wipe everything out, get into sort of a position, like, to a state where uh, I can relax and feel the tension, like, I have tension here, I can feel it, you know, and, like, you know, try to shake out your tension and, like, try to, you know, see where your tension points are in uh, in your body. And get sort of to a place where you, you you try to wipe everything out of your mind, you know, you don't think of anything in particular. And then uh, uh, through sense memory, which is not pantomime, you try to remember like uh, uh, what 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 was I wearing? Can I see anything? Can I see anything? Let's see. Uh, is there anything that I can touch? What was I touching? Was I touching anything? Uh. Okay, and then so then you drop it, right? And like, uh, um, and so hi, how are you doing? So on, da, 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 da. your father's dead. What do you mean? I mean, you're kidding me. My father's dead. Well, I'm okay. Forget it. But like, I mean, you you go for a, you know, I've never tried that one. That's too close anyway. But like, you make a, you get a, a rep. I mean. You're tricking, you have to like, it has to come from something that you, either the clothes you're wearing, the heat, the cold, it has to come from one of your senses. Your seeing, your smell, your hearing, your hearing, your taste, your hearing, your touch, and the beep was a... Was well, it's like, song, music does that too. You, know, you hear a song that just takes you to 
right. some other time or, yeah, or right. entirely. So, and it and when you once you've gone through a memory, a sense memory, a sense memory into an emotional memory, at that point, it's always the same object, or it's always the same sound, or the smell, or the taste, or something you saw that will that will that will spark it off. It'll always be the same thing, but you've got to trick yourself into not hearing it. <laughs> you can't just. You've got it here, just like that. And you've got to be able to shut it off, man. And and if you're going, you know, and so like you can be doing something else. Yeah. But it's always the same. It'll always be the same sound. It'll always be the same smell. It'll always be the same thing. But they wear out. Um, Stanislavski described it as like opening a box. He says you have a golden box, and uh, you open that box, and like you let out that that emotional memory. Well, they wear out. They wear out like a guy telling a joke, you know, at a party. They say, hey, tell that joke. It's really a funny joke, you know? And so you tell it, and everybody laughs. Hey, ah, you know? Pretty soon somebody says, wait, would you tell him this joke? And you say, okay. You tell him, okay, pretty good. Yeah, some people laugh. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. About the fifth time, you say, hey, why don't you tell a joke? You know the joke by now. I don't really feel like telling it. And, uh, and they said, no, no, you tell it better, you know it better. You tell a joke and then uh, falls flat. It's not, it's not so funny anymore. And people go, oh, yeah. Huh. It's, uh, and emotional memories wear out. So you have to constantly regenerate your senses. So like in, in, in when, you're, when you're screwing in these areas, <laughs> screwing in these areas, <laughs> screwing helps. I mean, you have to keep your touch and your smell and your taste and your seeing and your hearing really like acute which makes you totally bananas.